plastic. Plastic. Oh, the they're coming. Carol Yarrington teaches students with special needs here at Heber Springs Elementary. But unlike most, she has walked the same path as the families of the students she teaches. I think I have a better understanding. You know, and I, I think parents sense that. As a mother of a son with autism, Carol grew disappointed in the school system over the years. This was seventh grade, the high school. This is when we really started to have problems. I felt that he was falling through the cracks. She says she felt her son wasn't getting the skills he needed to succeed in life. Carol says it wasn't until she left a meeting with her son's principal seven years ago that she realized she needed to do more. I was in tears and I was driving my van and I said, God, there's got to be a better way. I th while in my fighting, I thought things were, were, you know, better for people with special needs. At that moment, she decided to embark on an incredible journey, determined to make a difference. At age 37, Carol decided to go to school to get a degree in special education. What better way to find out the system than be in the system. But her journey would be far from easy. The mother of two also looked after a friend battling cancer who died her first semester of school. Soon after, she lost both her parents. It was heart-wrenching. There were so many days that I just wanted to quit. Instead, she fought through and graduated at the top of her class. She then went on to receive her master's degree. I'm proud of what I did, and I hope I can inspire others to do the same. You feel very happy and good when your bucket is full. Now, after one year in the classroom, Carol's seven-year journey has finally come to fruition. Today, she's setting new goals for a new journey with her students. My focus is to have them grow as much as they can academically and then challenge them to go on and do more.